Okay, so day 44. That means 11 days until the Ride to Conquer Cancer. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Today is going long distance. Do I think I can make the Ride to Conquer Cancer? Yes. Why? Well, today's ride was 120 kilometers. The biggest day on the Ride to Conquer Cancer is 114. Doesn't have a lot of vertical. The course I did today does. Overall, 100 kilometers, 1,400 meters of elevation. It was really, really hard on the muscles, especially since my Garmin Verb battery is brutal. So what I'm showing you is the most gnarly sections of the Tour de Victoria. Uh, Munns Road, which is, you know, Bike Haven, and Ross Durant's, which is pretty much the same. The hilliest, craziest sections of the Tour de Victoria in this video. Did you enjoy this video? I'd love to hear what your biggest takeaway was. So comment below, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Hey Jesse, it was uh, really great to meet up with you uh, on the weekend and uh, do a part of the uh, Tour de Victoria with you. I remember when I did that race uh, or that event uh, quite a few years ago, it's spectacular. I mean, it really does uh, show you some of the best riding that we have uh, in and around the city here and, and just on the outskirts. Uh, the, the guys who have created that route uh, have been riding those roads for years and they really did a great job of showcasing uh, what we have here. Um, lots of different terrain coming at you uh, in the Tour de Victoria. Tons of ups and downs, uh, twisty, turny stuff. Uh, so lots to look out for. And, and one cue I'd like to give you is just to make sure that you're always having your head up and looking down the road uh, so you can see what's coming at you. We've been talking a lot about gear shifting and making sure you stay in the right gear. Uh, and this course really, really, really uh, exaggerates that because there's so much happening. Lots of different terrain, little hills here and there, corners. Uh, so you got to have your head up, you got to be looking ahead, uh, and that'll lead uh, to a really good event for you. section uh, that we're going to highlight on the course uh, nothing major but you are coming down uh, a bit of a grade so your speed is going to be quite high uh, and you're going to be coming off of Burnside Road and you have to make a, a quite a hard turn onto Prospect Lake Road uh, really important here to be looking ahead um, so that you know what's coming it's a pretty sharp corner uh, and you're going from a fast downhill into uh, a fairly steep uphill so in in your mind you need to be thinking about what gear should I be in you don't want to gear down too quickly so your legs are spinning like crazy. Um, you just want to be aware that it's coming uh, before you're heading into that turn, maybe shifting into a few easier gears just so that you have uh, you know, a nice gear to be in as the, the hill pitches up there. This next highlighted section, uh, your little fork in the road here, uh, if you hang a right, you're going to end up on Prospect Lake Road uh, and we're keeping left on the Tour de Victoria and that's going to take you up Munns Road. Um, bit of a funny intersection, um, got to be careful through here, especially if you're training on the course uh, when it's not the Tour de Victoria, just have your head up, the cars can kind of whip through here sometimes and it's a bit of an awkward little intersection, so keep your head up, uh, be really aware um, and, and just watch for traffic through here. <laughs>
section here is really the start of Munns Road climb uh, proper. Uh, somewhere around here, I think they're going to have the uh, King of the Mountain uh, um, uh, section. So uh, that's kind of fun for people who like to climb and go fast up the climbs. Uh, but this is really where the climb starts to kick up uh, and you know be fairly consistent all the way to the top of Munns Road. So again, just looking ahead, uh, making sure you know what's coming. In your head, you want to be mentally ready for um, you know probably six, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes of climbing, um, depending on how fast you are and just be ready, ready to go up that hill. Uh, the top of the Munns Road climb. This really is one of the, the steeper sections in the course and the, the culmination of uh, that you know Munns Road in its entirety. As you crest this hill here, um, you're now going to be heading uh, down to the uh, Ross Durant's Road. So uh, coming up here, just wanted to show you the top of that climb. in your head too you should be thinking about the descent that's coming up and uh, you know it's fairly twisty turny so you got to make sure you're uh, really being careful through that section and again looking ahead and choosing the right gears <laughs> For me, as a local cyclist here, I'm so excited that they include this road in the Tour de Victoria. It's probably my favorite road to ride on uh, on all of the island. And oddly enough, I don't really get out there that much on that road because it's a little bit far out. But it is just so much fun. If you haven't been on it, you're in for a real treat. Uh, if you have been on it lots, then, then you know what's coming. Lots of twists and turns, ups and downs. It's kind of a, a fairly narrow road and you feel like you're really in the trees and kind of secluded and tons and tons of fun. It's, it, it reminds me of what I'm sure some of the roads in Europe are like. Uh, just lots of variety, lots of different terrain uh, and tons of fun to ride on. So this is probably my favorite section of the whole course. <laughs> Once we kind of get out of this clearing here, you're gonna you're gonna take a, a right on Willis Point Road, uh, and that really is kind of a bit flat at the start. But then you're gonna go down a pretty significant descent. Uh, it's fairly wide open. It's a nice descent to go on. It's not too twisty, turny, or, or freaky. But you will get uh, some good speed up there, um, and uh, yeah, that that takes you down uh, off of the Ross Durant's down at Willis Point, and then you're kind of back uh, onto some of the main roads. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. 